Hey kids and coaches. So I saw a video from uh, Wrangle Star. Uh, he's on YouTube, does a lot of cool stuff. He took a really cheap hatchet and made it a really good camp slash bushcraft type hatchet. Um, so I thought I'd do it and make a video for you guys. So if you want to watch it on my channel or you want to watch it on his channel, he has a really good video as well. I'm just going to follow that one. So this is a genuine hickory handle. This is from Harbor Freight. At the time I bought it, um, this is in October 2021, it was uh, $14. So it, the price could go up. I think they used to be 12. Obviously we know with inflation, things go up. So it's got a one and a quarter pound head on it. It comes with this little rubber cover on the end. Um, and it's not bad, it's not a bad shape. It, it has this coating on it to keep it from rusting. And then there's a polyurethane coating on this generally to keep the wood protected. So we're gonna take that off of there. We're gonna reprofile this to make it cut better. It is, uh, it's not sharp at all. And it actually, if you can see, it's got some nicks in it, kind of from the factory. So we're gonna clean all that up. It's actually cut back a decent way. So I have a file, but so for basically 14 bucks at the time, um, you can get a good camp hatchet. So it's got some nice grip on it, some nice spots. To grab it so I'm gonna see what I can do with it stay tuned first thing we're gonna do here is I don't have a proper workbench so I do have a little clamp here it's a wood clamp and then a piece of wood on my uh, toolbox so I want to get this lacquer coating off so I can put some uh, linseed oil on there to protect that and you could leave it on there it's not gonna really hurt anything to not have that on there. I just would rather do the linseed oil because then I can, you know, do that annually like I do my other ones and have that at the same time. So I can I can do them all at the same time with the same linseed oil. And it's a better grip on it too because this is kind of slick stuff. So I'm just gonna find a way to clamp this. Anything you can do to secure it to hold it down um, will work. So I'll show you guys how we're gonna get that off of there. So any knife will work. Um, this is just a box cutter. I don't know how it's, well it's gonna work. I'm just gonna put it on there and pull that back. It's uh, it's gonna take a minute and it sounds horrible. I'm sure it sounds horrible on camera. But I'm gonna go through and scrape this um, coating. You can see it coming off of there. And get that sanded down real smooth. You could probably use sandpaper too, but it's gonna gum the sandpaper up. So we'll do that afterwards, after we get all this scraped off. So I've got it sanded down. Um, you can probably see or hear it. So now it's down to the bare wood. You wanna make sure that you get up in here as well. There's also on the top, um, you wanna be able to get linseed oil in there. So I'm gonna take some coarse sandpaper. It's just an old piece I have and sand that down. That's really the best way to do it. It's gonna take a hot minute um, to get through that because it's coated in this black um, paint stuff. So I am gonna sand the handle down some more. Probably hit this end a little bit. Uh, they cap these to keep them from completely drying out because that's where wood dries out out of the ends of the grain. So it's kind of like when you go to uh, a lumber yard and you see it coated on the end to keep the wood from drying out. So um, yeah, I'm gonna sand this some more, get it good and smooth and then knock that off the top and then we'll be ready to move on to playing with the blade. So you're starting to see there um, where those two pins are that hold the handle to it, which are actually really good style pins um, that you see in the expensive ones, but that's the coating you gotta get off of there. So you just gotta keep sanding. It's gonna take a while, but it'll be worth it when it's done. What I have here is a basic file. This is a Nicholson. I got this at um, Tractor Supply. It was like eight bucks. So I've used this before to sharpen. It's got a, a two-way sharpening grit on one side and then a one way the other. The one way is one you gotta be careful for. She wanted the way you wanna take material off the end of this, you gotta kinda watch what you're doing. So I'll show you a general idea. I'm not super great at this. I just kinda do it in my garage and figure it out and then 
uh, wait till it's sharp, I guess. So, solid practice. So I'm gonna take this, I've got the um, double edge here, and I'm gonna clean this all up here. So I'm gonna try to get pretty close to the profile of it. You don't have to push down too hard. You just wanna take off a little bit of material because you can't put it back on, right? Try to stay at the same angle. So you're gonna do that to both sides. Try to keep in mind how many times you've done it to each side so you can balance it. So once you're happy with that, you can start, instead of being flat with it, you can kind of angle it a little more. You can start making your edge then. So as you do it, you want to come down and run it along the blade down like that. You're gonna do the same thing on both sides. Try to keep that same angle, you're just gonna doll it out. Um, it takes practice, but like I said, you'll, you'll get there. So both sides, and then you can move on. All right, so I'm satisfied with that. Um, we've got a much better edge on it. You can see the shine. <clears throat> you can't, you're not really gonna get anything sharp until you see that kind of gleam, that mirror-like gleam across the end. It's kind of uh, how you know you're getting there, right? But you don't want it either direction too far. So then you can see in the tip, it's getting a lot, um, use that black as a background. It's coming to a point pretty good, right? So now you can go to your sharpening stone or um, whatever you'd like to finish that up to finish sharpening that edge there. Pretty sweet. So we'll get to the linseed oil now and we should be about to wrap it up. So next we're gonna do the boiled linseed oil. You want boiled, otherwise it'll never dry. This is gonna to have to dry overnight. So if you're doing this and expecting to just go out like immediately, it's not gonna work. Uh, make sure you wear gloves. This is not uh, great for your skin or hands. It can cause um, irritation. So just got it on a paper towel there. And I'm just gonna rub that into the wood. Since this is fresh wood, it's probably gonna take a good amount because you wanna saturate it. So see how it's changing the color already? It's gonna protect the wood there and it's better, you have a better grip and a more natural age on it than if you would just uh, leave that polyurethane stuff on there. There's nothing wrong with it, it just doesn't grip as well. So go ahead and get a good coating of that on there. You're gonna flip it, do the other side and then make sure you hit the top of that there. All right, how are we looking here? So we got the top sanded down. We've got a pretty good point on it. I still haven't um, stoned it with a sharpening stone to do that. Um, any kind of knife sharpener can work too. Um, you can just go at angles on that. There's other videos you can see out there to do that. I just wanted to show you guys the main part. I still have my glove on because that linseed oil is still damp on there. Um, if you get done and let's say that the grip is a little rough for you, take more sandpaper and knock it down. Uh, maybe something a little less rough. I use pretty grit gritty sandpaper. Um, you can make that hand a lot smoother. But you do that linseed oil about once a year because the wood's gonna absorb it. So we now have, for $14 at the time of filming here, we have a camp hatchet. And it's got good grip. It's got a good point on it now, so it should be a good splitter. We got linseed oil on it so we can maintain it and you didn't spend you know a ton of money. I've got expensive axes, so I have no doubt that this one's gonna perform well. Um, you can hear the sharpness. And then before, and I tried to make it catch on my thumbnail, like I talked about in sharpening uh, one of my camps, and it wouldn't do it. It's still not super sharp, but it'll scrape, scrape thumbnail off. So you know you're getting there. It's not shaver yet, but it's plenty sharp enough to be able to chop and hatch, hatch it at some wood, cut some wood. So yeah, give it a shot. Go down to Harbor Freight and get one. They're, like I said, around 15 bucks. And then a little bit of work, you need a file. I think the linseed oil is like seven bucks and the file is like seven or eight bucks. So you can make the whole thing for like 40 bucks and then have a good hatchet. And some of the stuff, if you don't want to do it, or if you screw it up, it was cheap in the first place, right? You weren't doing it to a $200 hatchet or something or an ax. So yeah, it's something else to do. It does not come with a sheath. Um, 
that's something I was gonna say. So I've made them before. I made it for my uh, little Lowe's hatchet I have. I'll probably be making a sheath for this. And then um, you can make an ax collar as well if you want. So just options. There's, there's plenty of videos out there for those as well. So yeah, if you want an ax collar, your boy has a video anyway. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helped you out and give you something to do, you know, with your board on a day or with the kids or whatever. So enjoy.